Cultivating the land means providing for the food requirements of the population, making raw materials available for industry, maintaining governance over the territory and managing resources. But agriculture requires specific machinery and equipment for replacing human labor, for the most taxing operations, for increasing the productivity of the land and rationalizing the various phases of work with respect for the environment. In this sector, Italian mechanical engineering maintains a leading role for production capacity and breadth of range, machinery and equipment for preparing the soil, seeding, plant treatment, harvesting, and the initial processing of the product. Livestock raising, forestry work, gardening, and maintenance of greens are built today by the Italian industry in an infinite range of models ideal for all types of agriculture and farming conditions in all the various countries of the world. Other than the agricultural mechanization industry, earth-moving machinery manufacturers also enjoy special status in the country, and their production for work on building construction sites on great public works for reclamation and maintenance of land is warmly welcomed abroad. Feder Una Coma, the Italian Federation of Agricultural Machinery Manufacturers, is the association which represents these sectors of Italian mechanical engineering. Feder Una Coma's origins date back to 1945 as a member of the National Manufacturers Federation Confindustria. The federation groups the specialized associations, Asumao, manufacturers of implements, Asomase, self-propelled machines, Asotrattori, tractors, Comacomp, components, Coma Garden, gardening machinery, Coma Motor, earth moving machinery, Unamot, agricultural engines, Asso Bioenergy for the use of renewable energy sources. The Federation, counting a total of 300 manufacturing industries, is a solid organization within the European and international networks representing enterprise in the mechanization sectors for dealing with specific technical policy and political issues. Among the activities carried out by the Federation, out in front are technical and statistics services, promotions on foreign markets, training and developing research. Especially on the research front, the Federation works in collaboration with universities and the specialized centers located in the various Italian regions and is committed to European Union projects for the development of technologies aimed at maintaining the competitive edge of the national industries. Among the technical and scientific issues of interest are those for the deployment of avant-garde electronic and IT systems for the control of machinery, for robotics and mechatronics, research on new materials and studies of new types of machinery capable of furthering the development of agricultural economies and ensuring effective governance of the land. Feder Unacoma's fundamental objective, however, remains the development of the mechanization market, an objective pursued not only through support for the enterprises taking part in promotional events and trade fairs in Italy and abroad, but also the first-person organization of high-profile expositions. AIMA International is the biennial review of agricultural machinery and equipment held in the Bologna Trade Fair Center as one of the world's leading appointments on the calendar for the sector and is sponsored directly by the Federation and organized by the Feder Una Coma Searle Services Company. The Bologna Trade Fair pavilions house an exhibition area of more than 140,000 square meters all undercover and climatized for 25,000 models of machinery and equipment divided into merchandise categories. A public made up of business people, farmers and contractors arrive from around the world for the biennial held in November to gain a direct understanding of the most innovative technologies and draw comparisons among the machinery and equipment produced by more than 1,700 manufacturing industries as well as to participate in an event of global importance not only at the technical and commercial level but also because of the communications made possible through a packed schedule of conferences and cultural initiatives. The exposition also brings in specialized salons. 
These are AIMA components, dedicated to components for the sector. AIMA Energy, on bioenergy. AIMA Green, on gardening and groundskeeping. AIMA MIA, on multifunctional agriculture. Another high-profile event is Agri Levante, the international exhibition of technologies for agricultural and agri-industry production chains organized by Feder Unacoma in collaboration with the Fiera di Bari, held in the Puglia city, Biennale, as a point of reference for business people in the sector, especially in the Mediterranean region. The meeting of mechanization supply and demand, however, cannot be limited only to trade fair pavilions, where bright and shiny machinery and equipment are spotlighted like works of sculpture in a museum. Each its own display, but must also take place in the countryside, in gardens, on work sites, where the power and efficiency of these machines can be put to the test. For this reason, Feder Unacoma promotes such initiatives as the AIMA Show, dynamic agricultural machinery events staged in various locations around Italy to enable the general public to witness the most modern technologies for all types of operations and put them to the test. Static as well as dynamic expositions are also organized abroad. The most important among them is AIMA AgriMatch India, set up in New Delhi by Feder Unacoma through the cooperation of the Italian Chambers of Commerce and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICI, in December on a biennial schedule for a fundamental appointment for the subcontinent. A related event in India is a dynamic exposition in the Punjab region for field trials of agricultural machinery and equipment. In the meantime, the Feder Unacoma Industries are formed into collectives to take part in the most important trade fairs in the sector. These are the occasions which highlight the fact that today, more than ever before, machinery and equipment are fundamental instruments for the effective, scientific and ecological management of the land, the fundamental resource which requires our increasingly better use and protection.